against these young women. And uh, we are very concerned about this. And I believe that, uh, I believe we could cut down the birth rate if we could just eliminate three things. Early marriages, drive-in theaters, and high schools. Yes, no. yes that would, uh, that would lower the birth rate a lot. A little bit of good news. A little bit of good news. There is there's, good news. There's Billy good Glenn. news in the old town tonight. The L and L nude nightclub burnt to the ground. Uh, uh, Come on, let's hear a little clapping over here. Let's get rid of these pits of iniquity. That's an answer to prayer, Bob. And pray and burn them to the ground. Oh, I better be careful. I, I might be a, become a, a, a suspect or something. But anyway, it, it burnt down, and now we just got a few others to go. But the fruit fly is in the news again. This is, this is disturbing. Uh, we have a few of the fruits in the oh, studio now. Uh, the fruit flies in the news again, and he's uh, back eating the, the fruits, I guess, is basically what they eat. And the government has Big Brother solving our problem with the fruit fly. He is introducing the fruit fly wasp eater. The wasp. It's a wasp that eats fruit flies. Yeah. So, I mean, now. This is not a white Anglo Saxon Protestant in the. No. What would you rather have? What would you rather have? Wasp flying around by the millions, stinging the life out of you, or fruit flies eating the fruit? I don't know which is worse. It's I need more time to think about it, Billy. Okay, well, think about it, That's Bob. That's enough. I'd rather have the uh, wasp. We may uh, ask them. some of our viewers tonight what they think about the wasps uh, that are going to eat the fruit flies, but the comet is still hitting Jupiter. And still the scientists are just dazzled, or bedazzled, as they say. What does that comet have against Jupiter? That comet is already, the, the G the G hit, the H is hit, the K is hit, and uh, A, B, C, A, G, H, Half the high school <laughs> students are learning their alphabet H, I, this thing. K. Well, we're waiting for the big Z to hit up there. Man, I don't know what will happen, but it, they, they say it... Uh, G, when it hit, it made a big enough hole that you could drop the whole earth into that hole that it, that it made in Jupiter, which might not be a bad idea. I got an idea. Maybe God is thinking this could be a good idea. This is where we'll, we'll put earth. Drop earth right in there. That'll take care of that uh, mess. <laughs> anyway, uh, OJ, of course, the trial goes on and on, and there's so much now about battered women tonight, turning point. The whole thing was about the uh, Farmington 8. You know, they... Uh, Pleaded, uh, what do they call it? Battered, uh, battered women's syndrome, battered women's syndrome, and which I guess is basically what Lorena Bobbitt pleaded and several others. It's it's getting uh, more and more dangerous for us males here in in this culture. And Bobby, you've got to stop beating your wife, or she's tough. She's Billy. liable to plug you some night and <laughs> and uh, walk free, scot free. She's a tough uh, so, but a lot of, there's a lot of together. troubled homes. This is not this is, there are a lot of troubled homes in America. Now how can that be? This is the land of the free, the home of the brave. We have the highest standard of living in the world, or one of the highest standards of the living in the world. We have all this money and cars and boats and golf clubs. You know, you look at most people's garage, it looks like a used sporting goods store, you know. I mean the thing is there's a bag of golf clubs in there and there's a bowling ball that hasn't been used and there's four wheelers and three wheelers and golf carts and you know everything imaginable Bad, Don't like it is Billy. badminton inchworms how many has got an inchworm in your garage yes many have an inchworm i've got two half inchers <laughs> and uh, you know and yet people are miserable and unhappy just once again proving the truth of the bible which says life does not consist in the abundance of things one possesses that's the truth billy the bible says as the bowels of hell are never full so is the spirit of a woman never satisfied <laughs> or no i think it says well mankind basically <laughs> never i don't want to just think about the women never so is the spirit of you know, mankind never satisfied. We're never satisfied. You really. cannot, Bob. You can. We've telling the people over and over. You cannot. You cannot satisfy a spiritual hunger with physical things. It doesn't work. Preach it, Billy. And so a lot of these homes are very unhappy and um, battered women. And I guess there are some battered men too. A lot of the states now are implementing laws to uh, arrest the spouse, the spouse that's battering, whether or not the spousey. 
uh, files charges. The espouser and the, the espousee. The spouse and the spousal and the yeah. spousey. I don't know what. But anyway, it's, so it's, it's sad. All these troubled homes here in America. And, you know, home is a place where you go to it and they have to take you in. I mean, that's... That's right, Billy. That's that, your home. Yes, baby. You don't need a reservation in your home. A lot of women, they say nowadays, though, this is... I guess some good news. They said a lot of women, though, in the hour that we're in, are very good housekeepers. When they get divorced, they keep the house. That's right, and, Billy. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Keep the house. And uh, two of the fans got the joke, Billy. That they're and they're explaining it to the other twenty. I know. I know a lot. I know one guy. He said, "Hey, my home is." He said, "It's a great place." He says, "That's where I go home." And he said, "I stand with my back to a roaring spouse. I mean, a roaring." Fireplace house, house. Fire yeah, ruined ruin, 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 yeah. fireplace. Anyway, uh, we need to pray for our homes. This is a serious thing. There's a diabolical attack on the homes of America, and we're going to do something about it right here on Let's Get Real tonight. Yes, we are, and we're bringing to you a band. They're gonna if they can get their equipment together, and if they don't hurry up, Bob, I'm grabbing the guitar. I'm singing myself tonight. Really sing it. It's gonna get down. The band Foss is here. And I believe FOSS stands for Fossilized Teenagers. Or what does that stand for? FOSS. Come on. Uh, you're, their, you're their fans. <laughs> Famous. Oh, okay. Famous odd FOSS is here tonight. We'll find out what it stands for. F-O-S-S. They're fixing to leave on an international tour. A big band coming right out of El Paso here. We're going to give them a little exposure and help them along their way. Hopefully they'll become a gospel group before too long. We'll be right back after this little pause right. for the call. Hey. Take us to break there. Let's go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live right here at uh, Studios of Star 65. We're glad to have you tuned in tonight. A lot of things are happening news. Uh, this is a big day. Uh, a lot of things are happening right here in the studio. The studio is packed out. We have many people here. We have a band. Uh, yes, uh, they just keep coming in every night, Bob. And we're not even advertising. And of course, the people have found out that we're allowing, we're allowing uh, people to get in here for free. And they, it's the best show in town for free. They can't hardly control themselves. Billy, Billy, wait. What we got to do is tell the rest of the story like Paul Harvey. The rest of the story. They come in for free, but we charge them $5 to leave. Lock the doors. Lock the They're doors. They're not getting out until They're they pay leave. through the nose. That's right. Uh, Bob, uh, Ransom. last night, we I was sorry you were not here last night. I know your favorite topic, uh, abortion. Uh, Steve Chirac was on the show, and we had the lines lit up. It was a very good show. Uh, a lot of people upset with Mayor Francis breaking the tie vote there uh, on the city council and uh, appropriating $25,000 of the taxpayers' money to support this. Yeah, uh, I, I would tell every, everybody that's pro-life against abortion never to vote for him again. God cannot bless people, a country that that is for killing the oh unborn. God. And they can't, uh, I mean, that's Planned Parenthood's agenda. Look, th they've been in charge of our morals of our high schools for years. Is it getting better or worse? Take a lesson. Get rid of them. Yeah. They're not doing any good. They're Be doing worse. Before we get to, and before I forget it, I want to mention the fact that uh, we have, there's a lot of young people in this city that have some morals and are trying to be decent, uh, God-fearing citizens. a lot of them keep them in Anthony. Uh, yes, and a lot. And uh, so they're having a, a music festival at Wet n' Wild, your good friend up there. Yeah, that's Wet n' Wild, Barry Edwards. Barry Edwards. And uh, they're sponsoring a Christian Music Day. It's uh, July the 28th, 1994. Yeah, that makes sense. The fact is we're singing. Man. Yeah, we're singing. Bob and I will be doing a duet there, actually. Uh, so I'll be humming while Billy sings aloud. 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tickets are just 10 bucks. I guess that gets you in. And you that can, gets you in. It's all the ride. You can slide down the slide and hit the... And you still get to hear the music, Billy. And you still get to... Okay. And I think there's about six bands going to be there. Unknown Soldier, The Unmasked, The Blamed, uh, The Focused... The and Beatles. The P.O.D. and the Beatles will all be playing. The Beatles will be there. At the Wet n' Wild. Yes. And if people come early, they might get to see Bob go down the big, the screamer. Yes. Yeah. We're going to put... Oh. We're going to put Bob on the screamer over there. I'm the first. 
I'm the first guy that has ever actually, I surf down the screamer, Billy. I've got a surfboard. That's how I go down. That's Anyone can sit down. I, I go down standing. I thought it was a skateboard, Bob. No, it's a surfboard. A surfboard. You're going to surf. I stand up on the surfboard. Yes, I do. Okay, that sounds really good. Uh, I got That's where I invented the name Screamer. <laughs> yes. I, I imagine you did. Yeah. Right, right on down the shoe.